Um, we have heard all of the five uh, presentations now. I think it was on one theme, but because we are talking from different countries and different traditions, I think the perspectives and the spectrum was very broad. Uh, it is important for us to understand each other's differences, but I think it's also a very important for us to identify the similarities, a common thread among us all. And I think that is a word that requires extra layer of affection. I think that the fact that we were able to, in Asia, use lacquer in many of our countries, but use it in an appropriate and very wise way that is in keeping with our traditions. And the fact that a lot of these traditions are still alive to this day is very meaningful. In the West, varnish is what they've mostly used. And in Asia, I think uh, the element that was widely used is lacquer. We don't have much time, but we will go straight into the discussion session. I did send you some questions, uh, some common questions early on, and I would like to ask you uh, these questions, and uh, we will go in order of the uh, presentation to respond to these uh, questions. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, doctor from Myanmar, I don't know if uh, he can join us right now, but we will try to do our best to reach him. We would like to ask you to please keep your, question, keep your answers short to within about one minute. So the common question that I have for all of you, the first question is, well, listening to all of your presentations, you must have identified uh, some similarities between your country and other countries. So can you tell us what were the similarities that you were able to identify? So I'd like to ask uh, the uh, Korean speaker first. Please keep your uh, re remarks brief. Yeah,对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对
have uh, listened to and to see the presentations of, of the participants today. Uh, I think in terms of the tradition, we had the same groups that the lacquer is succeeded as uh, spring from the lacquer crop and as it's uh, influenced from China. But uh, its country is based on its own the countries and the development helps its own development. They're just like in Japan and in Korea. In Japan, you have the Ukyo, uh, the Maki, Maki is, uh, is said to be the most uh, special technique of the Japanese. And uh, also, just like in Korea, they have the rally and the mother period lady is said to be uh, uh, stereotype the stereotype the, the, uh, the, the Korean Ochi lacquer. So in Vietnam, so it, uh, we look back to the situations of the crops. Uh, is, I mean, Korea in the Japanese, we have the same root. That's because of some uh, changes uh, in, uh, in terms of the, uh, the society and the history. So, so we uh, start to uh, uh, inherit uh, the Western tradition from the French. And in that, in that way, we de develop the lacquers in our own way. It's much more tend to art, to painting, rather than the craft. But it is ob obviously that uh, rise uh, at the early centuries of the 20th century, there are a lot of exchange uh, in terms of luck exchange between uh, the uh, Asian countries uh, like uh, Japan, China, and uh, uh, Korean luck. I think we uh, interact with each other and we uh, enrich our luck tradition based on uh, this exchange. So that's all. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for your comments. Uh, I wanted to ask a professor from Myanmar, but I do understand that due to local circumstances, uh, he cannot access uh, the Zoom platform. Uh, it's quite unfortunate, and I hope that uh, we can have him reconnect to the platform. And last but not least, our speaker from Maldives, would you like to answer the same question? We have two speakers. Would, who would you like to answer the question? Uh, I would answer the question. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. Yeah. Uh, after listening to all the presentation, uh, what I understood is, um, especially from the Korean, um, the lacquer work was actually done uh, by commission by the royals, and also it usually used by the upper family. And I and, and we feel that in order to a similar case, so it's usually done to elaborate the brainness. So we find uh, those similarities from the presentation. Ah, 네. 아유, 감사합니다. 예. Thank you very much. 네, 저는 들으면서. And as I was listening to all of the presentations, they were quite insightful and I was able to learn new things and it was an invaluable opportunity for me. I find this seminar very rewarding. So let me now move on to the second question that was uh, distributed to in advance. And if I may read that out to you, uh, the commonalities uh, uh, of the countries, is this based on cultural exchange or do you believe that it's endogenous? Uh, you can ask, uh, you can answer the individual questions or uh, whichever way you want. So first, Mr. Yi Jae-ho. I think that uh, listening to the presentation from Vietnam, from Myanmar, from uh, Japan, and also from the Maldives, I uh, once again thought to myself how when we look at all these different uh, countries, the traditions started at different time periods, and the phenomenon are a little bit uh, different. In the case of Vietnam, uh, they uh, came by a lot of the uh, tradition from China, and the Chinese influences were very uh, significant on Vietnam. So I think that for all of our countries, this, uh, this element of exchange, cultural exchange, has been important for all of us. But the starting points of when this Occurred are different depending on the country. 
So I think that really the real origin of this craft is our knowledge of, of uh, nature, that many of the artisans, regardless of where they lived, had this knowledge of nature. And while it occurred on different time periods, they all had this knowledge of nature to ground them in learning more about lacquerware within this boundary of Asia and to really develop this uh, craft and this artistic culture here in this continent. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Yuji Onera, the same question to you as well. あの、うるしはとても優秀な、え、塗料ですので、え、それぞれの国で、あの、それぞれの国にあった使われ方をしているというふうに感じました。生活文化ですね。え、途中で、ちょっと一回どうぞ。I uh, felt that uh, as urushi is a very adaptable material, and I heard from your presentations that it, it was being used in ways that were appropriate for each of these regions and countries. そうした and for people in Japan, the most common urushi lacquer product uh, is hashi or chopsticks. And it's something that people here use daily and improves durability as well. And uh, I saw in your presentations the different sizes of bowls or utensils or uh, vessels. And I felt that the sizing uh, also reflected uh, the lifestyles of each place. Thank you. Thank you very much. We would like to hear from uh, Dr. Tian now. Uh, I agree to uh, the speech by the two previous uh, participants from the Koreans and the Japan. Uh, Lacquer is said uh, to be a very important material and it very connects to uh, the, 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 the human country. During my, uh, my, my PhD study course of Urushi in Japan, I had a lot of chance to participate in uh, uh, many international symposium and uh, including some uh, chopstick international festival in Korean. And I, I found it interesting for the Chinese, uh, the uh, Koreans and the Japanese, you have, you actually have a very, very uh, uh, interesting traditions of the, the, the chopstick made of a vice uh, lacquer. Then in Vietnam, we have the same in the past, mm -hmm. but uh, unfortunately, the reason is because of uh, many uh, uh, reasons. So the lacquer crafts doesn't uh, develop so well because uh, Nowadays, uh, it, it seems that from the lack of paintings uh, comes up, so we change the, the concepts. Mm -hmm. And nowadays, pupils more prefer the painting to the crop. So that's uh, the, the resource coming from in Vietnam to how to safeguard uh, the, 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 the lack of crops industry is the matter. But uh, I hope that through the exchange and through the uh, uh, cooperation the uh, like this, we can improve uh, our, uh, uh, our opinions, our concept of the, the, the true lacquer. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. In, in the universities, it's true that lacquer was expanded into the painting. Uh, sphere, but there are also various examples uh, of this as a culture and the everyday life. I believe it's the same yeah. case in the Viet in Vietnam. Yes, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, last but not least, I would like to ask uh, Mr. Cha Ahmed the same question.
네. 다시 질문 드릴까요? 아까 공통 질문으로 예, 그 uh, common question to all. 여러 가지 이제 그 공통 질문이시면서 um, 느낀 listening to the presentation. Yes, thank you very much. Um, what, uh, what we have noticed that is the technique and the skills uh, uh, shared from the other countries like uh, China or Myanmar. What we notice is in the religious, uh, the designs are unique to the country. Like in, in Bolivia, we have seen the calligraphy and the, and the floral and how that is the same designs between the floral stones are again seen in other world. That is one of the things. Even though that we share the techniques and knowledge, the, the designs become unique to each country. Thank you. I did not uh, note about uh, the differences, but I wanted to focus more on the commonalities to understand the common thread that goes through all of these cultures, uh, because I felt that uh, that was all the more well aligned to the purpose of today's seminar. So I just wanted to remind you the reason why I was focused on the commonalities. Once again, thank you very much uh, for your comments and answers. I also had a third question, um, and if I may remind you once again, the third question is uh, whether the research on the commonalities of the cultures, what kind of implications does that have on the researcher and on the culture uh, of the researcher? Could you give us some information or any light on that? Let us start with Mr. Lee Jae of Korea. I think that uh, recently we've seen a lot of exhibitions and uh, I think there is a market now, an expanded market for uh, foreign international handicrafts and this has led to an increased interest in Asian lacquerware in general compared to the past. And in my uh, presentation today, or listening to the, all of the different uh, experts' presentations, I was able to understand that um, the different countries have similarities and also differences in how they use uh, the material, how they use lacquer. I think that that knowledge can also inspire the actual craftsmen, the artisans who are working in the field. Uh, a lot of the uh, traditional knowledge and skills that are being practiced and uh, transmitted in Korea right now, uh, they date back to pre-modern times or modern times in Korea that uh, we've really learned from China or Japan and etc. But now perhaps there would be maybe some new types of techniques or skills that we can identify and these new types of skills and techniques can be something that we uh, Asian researchers can work on together so we don't need to necessarily be mired into the uh, history but we can try to come up with contemporary techniques as well. Yes, uh, thank you. From uh, Japan, Mr. Yuji Yonehara. あの、え、so in Japan, urushi is used mostly in the field of crafts and uh, in arts and religious items as well. And uh, seeing that 
in other countries, uh, lacquer is used in similar ways, but has seen different uh, various developments. Um, I just wanted to make one last point about the antibacterial properties of lacquer. And I imagine that this could lead to kind of a future demand from uh, other uh, regions and areas um, for lacquer. And I think it's important to continue deepening this research um, as scholars in this field. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Tian, Drew Kan Tian. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I think it's uh, through the deeper uh, research about the lacquer, we can uh, widen uh, the 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 world of lacquer with you know, the together. Because each country is based on its race and has uh, it's a very special techniques. Uh, so, from the fields of the lacquer, the painting artist, when I uh, come back to our uh, craft tradition, I. Uh, we have a very, very, very interesting version of uh, lacquer wire, and it's very similar to Korea's uh, lacquer in Japan. And even uh, recently in Vietnam, there are lots of uh, the exchange uh, activities and sponsored and supported by the government to try to improve the uh, uh, development of the lacquer crafts village. And we hope that uh, by the, the sponsor from the government, we can uh, bring back the trace and lack of technique because that is immediately missing now in Vietnam. In, in Maldives, the uh, lack of work is, uh, as mentioned in our presentation, is practiced by the by the locals in an island. So I believe if the practitioner is given more exposure to participate in like like in this seminar, they would get the opportunity to exchange the knowledge. And if the researchers and the policy makers work closely, I, I think it will it will have a much more effective uh, results on uh, doing the research work about like that. So I think it's time we work together for the research. Thank you. I believe uh, we are um, behind schedule, but there is one last question that I wanted to pose. I believe that the final destination, uh, basically, that we uh, uh, aspire to fulfill would be this following question. And uh, you, uh, all of our participants can answer, or if not just some, that would be enough. But uh, we've been looking into the value of lacquer. But I would like to ask, what do you think about a joint inscription of this lacquer art to the representative list of the ICH of humanity? Are you willing? Are you willing to take part in a joint inscription of lacquer? So first, maybe from Korea. Any views? Uh, yes, so this lacquerware culture and lacquer culture, if this can be filed as a multinational nomination as a shared you know, cultural heritage, obviously that would be great. Uh, and if I could play a role, I would gladly do so. Lacquerware itself, uh, it involves a process of making. The production process is very wide and very broad, and there are very specific elements, very specific techniques. And as uh, Professor Yonehara said, it's used in different areas. So in forestry, and you have to get the sap, and you have to refine it, and you have to create actual products out of it. And it's a very long, very intricate uh, process of different Asian countries countries can study that, research that together, and then uh, submit a multinational filing. That will be very meaningful. Thank you very much. Professor Yonihara. 
あの今、えーっと、D 先生おっしゃったように、私もあの賛同します。で、あの漆はですね、加工方法も、使用方法ももちろんですけれども、えー、今日私、発表しましたように、漆を取るためのプロセスというのは、えー、自然環境につながっています、あるいは、えー、住宅開発等の大きな、えー、視点に関わっています。でですのでその状況というのは、えー、日本、えー、今回この参加されたどの国も同じだと思いますので、えー、人の暮らしとか地域の文化をしっかりと守りながら、えー、漆を、えー、残していくとそういった共通の観点というのは持てるというふうに考えます。以上です I also fully support the suggestion.、Um, Urushi, as、uh, Professor Lee mentioned, that Urushi process, processing methods、uh, vary widely. And in terms of the harvesting method of Urushi,、uh, this is something that is connected to urbanization of the land and forestry and environmental concerns as well. So I can see this being a common. Uh, objective and the this shared need to protect、uh, where people, people's people lives and land in relation to Urushi. Thank you very much. We will hear from the、uh, Maldives side. And I actually have another question for our Vietnam experts. I'm going to ask you to wait a little bit、uh, so we can hear from Zaha first. Thank you.、Um, I think、uh, we, we support, and、um, ICH is an area that、uh, in Bolivia we are very new. Because we have always been concentrating on the tangible cultural heritage. So,、um, looking at other presentation, I think we have a long way to go into the research and the better work. We need to understand more. And I think if we get the opportunity, it will be very good if we can do the lecture work more in an international level and show that we also share these commonalities with other countries. Thank you. 아네대단히감사합니다예좋은답변들감사드립니다예 Thank you all for your comments and answers. So our professor from Vietnam, I have the same question plus another question. I know that、uh, we are out of time, so、uh, we cannot go around the table, but. I do know that there are more than 100 online participants、uh, joining us, and we have about 50 joining from、uh, overseas. And there was a question amongst、uh, those proposed by our participants. So in 1925, as you mentioned, this、uh, Indochina University, the fine arts university that you mentioned, that was established at the time, and that was really where the tradition of、uh, lacquer paintings really flourished. The question is, were there no lacquer paintings before this university was established? Uh, actually, in Vietnam,、uh, the lacquer painting is.、Uh, Uh, it means to be in、uh, is coincide with the、uh, establishment of the,、uh, the Indochina、uh, Spire Arts College.、Uh, it's、uh, one of the very interesting parts of the Vietnamese、uh, lacquer art s、uh, history because、uh, before that time, before 19, uh, 1925, uh, we have、uh, the lacquers in terms of lacquer crafts mainly, and at other times, the, the Chinese.、Uh, Uh, the French use a、uh, uh, 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 good uh, terminology to use a specific to Vietnamese、uh, art lacquer, we ca they call the anamid lacquer.、Yeah. It's just like the、like, uh, Urushi is the name to call the Japanese lacquer. So, the, until the, the, the foundations of the, the college end from、uh, around、uh, one decade from、uh, 1925 to 1932. So, there is、uh, a lot of experimenters. So, the very first、uh, generation s、uh, of、uh, our students,、uh, in cooperation, cooperation with uh, some uh, high ranks,、uh, like、uh, artisans, tries many times to choose.、Uh, 
uh, invent a, a kind of lacquer. We call the, the transparent lacquer, and in the Vietnamese uh, terminology, it's called Kingsan. Uh, this kind of lacquer is uh, actually is, uh, from the raw lacquer, but we add some uh, cementite in, so it makes the lacquer become more transparent and it's uh, e much easier to send. So it's very uh, compatible with the uh, lacquer painting. Yeah. Uh, yes, can you also uh, tell us your thoughts about the multinational nomination? Uh, yeah. Can you also tell us your thoughts on sorry, multinational I'm, I'm, nomination? I'm, I'm, sorry, the signal is not quite clear. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, uh, I think that is, uh, um, in English speaking, it's my it's great honor to participate in the uh, I say it's as uh, I kept, uh because uh, it's, uh, it's the very first time for me to participate in such a seminar like this. But uh, through the presentations of the participants, I I'm, I'm totally believe that uh, with uh, the commonalities of the Manti cross, with the luck uh, we contribute as uh, a Manti language. Because uh, in, in terms of process, and no matter whether it's uh, Korean, China, or uh, Myanmar, or Vietnam, we have the same process of being collected uh, doing the lacquer product from the, the harvesting the resin to the to uh, the process of making an lacquer's uh, artwork. So I quite believe that through the cooperation and through the academic uh, cooperation, we can uh, uh, strengthen uh, the, the, the lacquer wall and we can have a lot of uh, benefits from the mantles, uh, mantle knowledge sharing. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Uh, when we do engage in discussions, we, uh, time is always not enough, and today was uh, no exception. Uh, we want to know and we want to learn more, but uh, time is always lacking, and the online environment is also very challenging. However, I believe that the presentations and the discussion, discussions were very sincere and that uh, we achieved a lot. We were able to understand the value of commonality, that common thread and also about confir confirming this value. I think that this is something that was in desperate need, and I believe that yeah, we are all on the same page, and thank you very much uh, for your views on this. Uh, this was a very first step towards that commonality, but I think that this could be a very good opportunity for further research. Once again, thank you very much for your participation, and let me now pass the mic to our uh, MC, our moderator. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone, including speakers, Thank moderator, you. and audience. We really appreciate you being here. And this seminar will continue online tomorrow at the same time, so please check each CAPS website for further information. Thanks again for joining us today, and I hope to see you all tomorrow at the same time. Thank you very much.